Howdy folks, and welcome to this Let's Play of Hearts of Iron 4. Hearts of Iron 4, where we were playing as Turkey. So we're just going to load our last save game, which was episode... Hey, we're doing episode number 14. Welcome. I think at the last episode we finalized our war with Greece. <coughs> or at least with the mainland Greece. Apologies for the coughs. Um, Greece still got Crete in their own hands. Which is really only four provinces, but it's still a thorn in my sight. Um... In the meantime, I'm also patrolling the seas over here. There's some resistance to the occupation. <coughs> Again, apologies. In Macedonia. Um, I've sent some troops there last time, which are slowly making their way there. Slowly but steadily. Hopefully it'll help suppress that as well. Um, I have... <coughs> Again, apologies for that. I've got a fair number of troops along the border here. Because I noticed that there were a fair number of actual troops from uh, Russia on the border there as well. Now, one of the things I've just noticed here just now is the fact that there are some... <laughs> Ooh! Were those Dutch convoys? I think so. I just sunk some Dutch convoys. Good. <clears throat> um, what I wanted to say... Um, I just noticed that there's some people in Iran as well as in uh, <coughs> I can apologies in Iraq with the on the borders with us so I guess I'll just have to keep an eye on those <coughs> Ooh, just do some research and I've just lost the destroyer it looks like Sorry about that. <clears throat> Just seem to keep on having this cough. <clears throat> if only you could get rid of it. If you got some tips, please leave some comments down below. <clears throat> In the interim, though, <clears throat> is there anything against shipping? There is there. Naval strike torpedo tactics. <coughs> so let's focus on those uh, tactics in the meantime. <coughs> so see Italian troops moving through. I don't think I've actually got any tanks I've researched. <coughs> Again, apologies. <coughs> I've researched yet. So once this one, the field hospitals, is finished, <coughs> I guess I'll start focusing on doing some research around tanks. <coughs> Just wondering, where are the Italians going? They're moving their troops through my territory, which I'm fine with. Setting those guys to basically start patrolling the sea here. <clears throat> it looks like they're going down south, doesn't it? Stationing themselves along the border with Saudi Arabia, it looks like. Now, is Saudi Arabia part of any particular alliance? It doesn't look like it, does it? <clears throat> so, in terms of what's happening now, there's still lots of movement along there. And they actually seem to be going into... Is that into Africa? It does look like it. <clears throat> okay, let's have a look at what's happening here. So France is still there. Are they fighting with France? <clears throat> I don't know. 
I would suspect so. Spain. Is Spain part of the alliance or not? The Axis, I mean. <clears throat> okay, it doesn't seem like, like it. <coughs> Again, apologies. Research. Anyways, I did say I wanted to basically start focusing on some tanks. <coughs> It's really the old ones from 1918. I never researched them before, so I'll be a, a little bit of time before that's researched. <laughs> In the meantime, I'd like to basically get some additional military factories up and running. probably want to prioritize them as well. Unfortunately, unlike what we had in Heart of Iron 3, where you could just say move to the top. Well, did we? Well, at least we didn't have that in research. Do we have that in production? I think we had in production. I'm not sure. Hmm. Either way. I'm building some bunkers. I want to get some of these factories up and running as well as quickly as I can. I just want to get some civilian factories. I'd already fully taken on there. Good. interesting of having to move them all about. I guess as long as it works and that's the main thing. Be tedious. Very tedious, but okay. There's no drag and drop option on there, is there? Let's get those guys rolling. Still got troops moving through my territory here, which I guess is fine. Ooh, another event. <coughs> Ooh, we lost some more. Unfortunately, we lost some more. <coughs> Oh well, okay. <clears throat> Let's get the clock rotting. In the meantime, let's assign this to my front line here.
<clears throat> Let's get about half those troops assigned to the other front. <clears throat> Cool. Just finished some more research. <clears throat> Another research slot is available. That's 1944. I don't need that one yet. <clears throat> Still researching that one. In terms of what I got here, it's 1941. <clears throat> I could go for mechanized. I could go for marines. I could go for paratroopers. I don't want any of those at the moment. I really want to basically get some other stuff up and running. Logistics? No. <coughs> Artillery. Can I do anything in terms of my submarines? There is a new submarine design available. <clears throat> Looks like I missed them. <clears throat> Get apologies. Let's have a look. So there is a naval battle going on there. <clears throat> And there is a naval invasion, it looks like. I don't see where, though. <clears throat> Ooh, I managed to destroy one of theirs. <clears throat> Too good. In terms of logistics... In terms of production here, we're advancing it quite nicely. <clears throat> so 1.7% efficiency gain per week. Okay. And we destroyed another one of theirs. I guess thanks to our fighters, air close air support. stand in terms of fighters. We got a shortage or a deficit of 14. <coughs> <coughs> now we're producing <coughs> 0.6 per week I think or per day. <coughs> we're short on support equipment. Looks like I'm going to have to increase production on support equipment.
That's what's happening at the moment. <clears throat> I thought I could control these troops. I can't, apparently. Or are they already assigned to a particular region? National focus. What do I want to do with the national focus? I want to basically focus on those special forces. <clears throat> Am I producing any troops? Good question. <clears throat> I think I had stopped production of most of that. I ceased production of these, anyways, down here. <clears throat> Marines, I'm still producing. I'm still producing some mountain units. I'm not producing anything else at the moment, which is perfectly fine. <clears throat> I haven't actually researched tanks yet, so I, I can't really do anything with that yet. <clears throat> Look at that. Wow. The uh, clock running at the highest speed. Just waiting for some developments here. Really, the only thing I'm doing at the moment is really do you want to basically get into a fight with, for example, these guys here? Iraq. I could maybe do. There's nothing preventing me from doing that. Who's this guy? If I select all of these guys, for example. How many troops have they got along the border? That's Iraqi troops. So if I look at the victory points they've got. Victory points. Five victory points. One. There is a naval base there. Interestingly enough. Well, <coughs> that might be an interesting one to take. Let's set an offensive line here. Let's set that to go like that. <clears throat> and in the meantime, I want them to I want them to prepare. How do I tell them to prepare? Let's remind me. Front line, offensive line, fallback, garrison area. I think that's it. So if I just leave them with that plan for a while. <clears throat> He'll basically build up the plan further, as far as I'm aware. Army 6. Let's call this the Iraqi Invasion. <clears throat> okay, in the meantime, whoop, Simi's Empire has capitulated. Without the trend of occupying British Indian forces. Semitic travesties throughout the country, the Siamese government has gone into exile, their main force have capitulated, and the British Raj is now in control of 
their home area. To the war against the British Raj and the rest of the Allies continued as an unfortunate setback for all of the Axes. Okay. And what's happened to my troops over here? I have troops over here, and they basically... Have they won the battle? I guess they might have. <coughs> Unless it was that particular region they were attacking originally. <coughs> In which case. Okay, so be it. Where are my naval forces? So these are new, it looks like. Is there a locate button at all? So if I right click on one of them, does it locate them? I guess yes, it does. So that one's over there. That one's over there. This one, I want to basically move it to <coughs> there. What's happening in the skies here at the moment? <coughs> Air superiority, intercept. So if I have a look at my fighters, I've got fighters, and they're all up to up to strength. It looks like. So Kunai. Eighty point three. <clears throat> Bulgaria has planes in this base. <clears throat> really? Oh, okay. Ooh, we've got some free dockyards. Uh, let's build some more ships of... <clears throat> well, let's build some more submarines. Not much happening at the moment, it looks like, but then again, um, the only thing I've really done at the moment is I've set orders for us to prepare for an invasion of Iraq. <clears throat> Which in itself is not such a bad idea. The UK's got troops though here. I'm not sure how many troops they would have here. <clears throat> Kuwait. Oh, just finished some research. Two bits of research, actually. <clears throat> so let's upgrade that radar. And what do we do with the other one? Land Doctrine? In actual fact, I don't want to do that radar one. I want to change that for something else. Trade interdiction. I'm trying to improve my trade interdiction there. I'm doing trade interdiction already, just I, I could do it more efficiently. <clears throat> Oop, 
they lost themselves a destroyer. <clears throat> And we lost the submarine. Interesting. Alright, let's have a look. This one's okay. This one could use some strength. <clears throat> Just send him back to base for a, sec for a second. So at least I can join up with these additional ships. Having more ships should strengthen them. German territory. Cool. So that's all done. So if I now basically choose a particular territory where I want to focus in on, <clears throat> I will want to focus in on. No, no, I don't want to move there. I want to do the convoy raiding. <clears throat> to be precise, in this particular region here. And I just lost one more destroyer. Lovely! Cool. National focus has been completed. <clears throat> what can I research next? There's nothing I could do on the right side as far as I remember. And I can never get to that point because of basically what happened. So I'm going to focus on the CAS effort. Close air support. Yes, and I destroyed more of their convoys. <clears throat> In this instance, it's the uh, Australian convoys, it looks like. <laughs> Anyways, I think looking at the clock, it is about time for us to basically call an end to today's session. So I'm just going to save today's game away again. So this is Let's Play number 14, I believe it is. <laughs> Turkey. Anyway, thanks again for, uh, for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's session. If you got any comments, please feel free to use the comments box below. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.